know that you are on not so candid camera. It is wonderful to see so many young faces this morning representing the schools and University of South India. You are the future of space exploration and the future of STEM education. The U.S. Consulate General in Chennai is excited to celebrate all month long the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing and India's second lunar launch, Chandrayaan-2. Please check out our upcoming lectures and films on our consulate Facebook page, visit our photo exhibit to commemorate Apollo 11 in the American Center, and enter your original artwork in our poster competition on US and India space exploration. The details for that poster competition as well as our events are available on our Facebook page. Without further ado, it is my honor to welcome Consul General Robert Burgess and our chief guest, Dr. Anandurai, who will guide us through They will guide us through a historical look at U.S. and India's first lunar missions. At this time, I kindly ask the Consul General to honor our chief guest with a bouquet of flowers and pose for photos. Consul General Burgess, may I invite you to the podium to say a few words and introduce our chief guest. Good morning. On behalf of my colleagues at the U.S. Consulate, I want to welcome you here to the auditorium and to every location where we're live streaming this event today. Uh, 50 years is a significant anniversary of the first moon landing. And there are a few of us in the room who are old enough to remember the excitement of that time. For me, it was being allowed to st uh, be allowed to stay up late to watch on the television our grainy, small, black and white television the live streaming from the moon with a few seconds delay of those first steps. And as young people, we looked at the astronauts as heroes. We wanted to do everything that the astronauts did, to eat the same food, to drink the same drinks, uh, whether it was Tang or the packaged space food sticks. Everything was new, exciting, and thrilling. And to see the, the, the short film today, it, it recreates that, that excitement. As I mentioned, we've, you know, we've had other trips to the moon since then, but that sense of excitement obtains. It still goes on. Uh, whether it's a manned mission, whether it's a, the Chandrayaan, which went into orbit around the moon, Chandrayaan-1, to find out the technical details of the composition of the moon and so further advanced science, uh, that thrill is still with us with space exploration and there's a rich future for it. It's my privilege to welcome Dr. Milaswamy Anadurai to the stage here at the consulate. As you know, he really needs no introduction. Uh, he is rightly a hero in India for his contributions to the space program and space exploration. Hailing from Coimbatore, um, Coimbatore district, uh, he got his degrees at the, uh, in electronics and communication engineering from the Government College of Technology in Coimbatore postgraduate degree in applied electronics from PSG College of Technology in Coimbatore, and his doctoral degree from Anna University uh, here in Chennai. Um, for 36 years, he served at ISRO, leading the top projects there.
to the moon, Chandrayaan-1, and to Mars. Um, he has been recognized around the world as one of the top global thinkers and has topped the list of innovators around the world. Uh, it is my privilege to welcome him and have him uh, start his program here, which I know the reason is the reason all of you are here today. So, Dr. Anadara. Very good morning to one and all. Yeah, at the first outset, I think, I, I think on behalf of you, on behalf of me, I would like to give our thanks, which uh, SN today, this American Consulate General and their team made an elaborate arrangement for two reasons. One is, as you connecting pr properly doing, uh, 50 years of uh, moon landing. I think the week celebration going on. Uh, this viewgraph uh, is trying to connect uh, the Apollo 11 carrying the rocket waiting for the launch 50 years back, around the same time frame, to go to the moon 16th, 1969. And a few kilometers from here, I think in Sirigari Kota, our Mark III is carrying three brothers like Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and uh, Michael Collins. Three men were waiting. Similarly, three components, the name of Chandrayaan 1, Vikram and Pragyan, is waiting to roar into the space to again to land on the moon 50 years later now. I think then when we are connecting these two things, there is a connection uh, emotionally and intellectually between these two personally and nationally between these two. From science and technology point of view, the connection between the two. One is to explore the unknown, and another one is to explore back to the earth, how humanity can thrive much better way back in the earth itself. I think these relations, for 50 years of relation, when we unravel as a part of uh, today's lecture, uh, the idea is not only just to celebrate, the idea is probably down the line you will come to know, to ignite some of you who are listening here, probably listening from elsewhere, ignite you such that when hundreds years of uh, man landing, when we are celebrating, simultaneously 50 years of uh, our Chandrayaan 2 landing also will celebrate. By the time, probably one among you will be part of this uh, talk. I think that is, that is the idea for the whole of uh, uh, So down the line, the uh, view graphs, whatever come, one view graph are there, some sentences are there, some scene are there, will trigger, will trigger someone of you are there in some form to get along with that team, which will make 150 years from now, how India and US will be together. I think that is our essence also. We will go together, we have gone to the moon together, I think future into the space also we will go together. I think that is that the whole whole essence of that and how we can be part and parcel of that, let us see that. Yeah, now coming to specifically uh, the 50 years back when Armstrong landed and it is the humanities Jane Jane Gleb, as he told. And at this moment, as uh, Mr. Consulate uh, General has told, it has triggered various, various minds across the globe. But not only from uh, the American land, various, various uh, the people across the globe also got triggered to do something big, something uh, rememberable, uh, something worthwhile, whether he and she can be part of that, that uh, uh, thing aiming for. I think that that's uh, triggered. The small clipping of that, which uh, 
came from a Chandrayaan one movie. Just I'm going to play it back. Probably will, you will understand what the meaning of I told, how it can trigger a nook and corner of the globe. Nook and corner of the globe. Somebody or other getting triggered for something to do, something big or something better. Yeah, this video, just a, a, a 60 seconds of video, will tell you what the story behind. Next, please. We are seeing a Kodawadi village here. The family is going towards that. And the village, even today, like that only. TV, le, Pradhamandri Chonda the Katrika. Chandra, Ilya. Hama, Adeza. And the Chandrayan project, ke, yen a director and Yemen Pandirka. This depicts uh, me, my father, and mother, my younger age. Last month, Neil yes, came in a movie. We are not fortunate to listen to the, the TV, we are listening to the radio. And as we have seen, the next day, whatever the newspaper item came, man walk on the moon. I think that is triggered, that is triggered. Somebody somewhere has I told here, that's what happened. And uh, 40 years later, I think I cherished uh, as the project director for Chandrayaan 1. Now the story comes other way, uh, that is the beyond your emotional and uh, other thinking, really what you are going to do, because you are going to the moon nearly 40 years later and nearly 60-70 missions have gone to the moon, many samples are brought back, but still what, what unique thing you are going to do, are you to be an also rank case or you can be different, I think that that is the question came, mission was very very modest mission not more than 53 million dollars budget and uh, then what we are trying to what what we are trying to do is the project was conceived such that to go to the moon have a polar mission around the moon 100 kilometer have a remote sensing instruments uh, that will see what the surface and subsurface and exosphere of the moon contains to have characteristics of chemical and mineralogical composition of the moon from that I do understand something different, something different, some gaps were, were there because there are some gaps which made the people to not, need not go back to the moon. I think that's what 60s and 70s even though the nations have gone including US, there is some gaps have come that gaps made, uh, we need not go to the moon once again. I think that's, that's something like that happened. Is it that that understanding is correct? I think that we unambiguously answer. One of the basic questions we are uh, trying to tell is, is it possible to have a decisive answer for water on the moon? A decisive answer. That means water on the moon was considered to be barren. Is it that uh, decision correct? I think what the decision we've taken is correct. Is it possible to have a decisive answer? That means you go around the whole moon and, and make use of the moon's rotation on its own axis 28 days once. And you go to the pole to the pole, uh, capping good number of science instruments uh, starting from optical imaging visible infrared, X-ray, low energy, high energy X-rays, all these instruments, uh, trying to see what whole moon contains. I think this is what we have uh, identified the mission concept and went ahead. And at this point of time, uh, like now we have been offered to come and listen to the lecture, and a, a small amount of uh, real estate in terms of mass, volume, weight was available. Is it possible to accommodate that to other than Indian uh, scientists to be part and parcel of uh, this uh, mission. So something called announcement of opportunity for additional one science instrument which will supplement and complement our uh, mission objective of to give the decisive answer was uh, asked for. And to our surprise, a good number of, good number of uh, requests came across the globe. And especially these two people, uh, one Dr. Carla Peter, uh, supported by Jet Propulsion Laboratory from Brown University. And another one is uh, led by Dr. Spell Pudis uh, from Applied Physics Laboratory combined uh, John Hopkins University. They called, they called and asked for an opportunity for that one instrument. Okay, this is the story. Basically, good number of people called and these two people are their uh, research papers which I myself can't do that, why we are going to the moon. 
So when they themselves called and asked for an opportunity, I thought there is some jackpot is waiting which I should capture. Okay, this is the thing I thought thinking. Because originally our plan is to take only one instrument. Now two instruments are coming up, two different technologies. One is trying to see the moon using an optical instrument. Another one is using a synthetic aperture radar. Possibility of seeing a water and subsurface. Another one is trying to see the water and the surface. I thought somehow we should catch on both the instruments. But really, really looking at here, technically we can carry only one instrument. Politically also, even if it comes, even if accommodate two instruments, across the globe many countries are asking how to accommodate both a two, two years instruments. It's a really, really a difficult situation. But we went around along with my team and I told somehow we should carry the two instruments. Let us do what, whatever possible. I think then the whole mission was redone, redone, re-optimized. Whenever engineering solutions were looked into that, finally we told, we told to our science team, now Chandrayaan can accommodate six more instruments. Okay? So, the, our objective is, somehow accommodate these two. To accommodate these two, I brought, I told, I can accommodate six. Let us select six. I'm pretty sure whomever goes for the selection of uh, among the 20 instruments, Definitely these two will come first too. I am pretty sure about that. So among that six, these two also joined. And our journey to the moon, our first journey to the moon started with the US. These two instruments started there. Yes, accordingly, uh, you look at here, the previous uh, uh, spacecraft configuration was very, very modest configuration, almost like a textbook configuration. Okay, and uh, that to accommodate these uh, six instruments additional, versus our own instrument, putting together 11 instruments accommodating in a modest spacecraft is a really, really innovative solution. That's how the satellite on its own configuration came very, very compact and uh, carrying many instruments, many instruments to the uh, moon. That is a uh, two instrument from US and uh, three from Europe, uh, one from uh, Bulgaria, another one from Japan. Like that, good number of instruments, the composition of the uh, satellite came something like this. And with this satellite, we have gone to the moon. And I'll again going, even uh, additional to that, we brought in, as Kalam asked for, yes, this is, uh, we are going all the way to the moon, but you are falling short of touching the moon 100 kilometer away. Somehow you should make sure that uh, Indian flag, tricolor flag, touches the moon somehow or other. So it, it called for another uh, revamping of the whole spacecraft configuration, such that at the uh, head of the uh, satellite, you can see a yes, very, very small, a 35 kg uh, a system. This will go, this will also come along with the moon, along with the satellite to the moon. And after reaching the 100 kilometer polar orbit, this will be ejected out. And in that, again, three science instruments we kept there. Okay, along with our tricolor, it goes there. So it touches, and while flying for 27 minutes, also try to get some science inputs, like that we have gone about. And uh, that is the scenario we are talking about here. Sachandrayaan so reached the lunar orbit and from there the, that module is coming out and it goes all the way to the hit on the moon that's the 27 minutes flight during that flight also we had another instrument looking for the possibility of water molecules anything is there in the exosphere of the moon during the 27 minutes and uh, with that when we are going we have seen signature of mass number 18 coming November 14th of 2008, when it is keep falling, we could see the mass number 18 is speaking, 71 kilometer, and uh, is keep uh, falling uh, down at the various altitudes. Look at here, the mass number 18 is speaking up. Mass number 18 means hydrogen mass number 1, 2 hydrogens 2, oxygen 16, 16 plus 2, 18 is a water molecule, water presence of water we are seeing in the exosphere. If water would have been there in that exosphere, the tenuous atmosphere of the moon, moon is not having atmosphere, but moon generates an atmosphere during the daytime of the moon, so-called daytime of the moon, the, the system comes out. So if it, if it coming out there, it should come from the surface of the moon. Okay. Then uh, uh, we looked at these two people, some of they have to help to look for, because they have two science instruments. And we discussed in the science team, we should have a focused uh, idea. Yes, we should contain for the mineral chemical lab of the whole moon, but we should have the possibility of water uh, systems also on the moon. I think we work together. And accordingly, uh, uh, for towards that, 
again us came into our uh, help uh, that is you look at here with our satellite going around the moon moon can be seen from india only 12 hours per day maximum and uh, but now you looking at uh, the deep space network of nasa is having the gold stone and us and the madrid of spain and we have another one canberra in australia this along with our own station in bangalore it gives an unpaired 24 by 7 watching of the satellite is possible so that means the whole system can be programmed 24 by 7 such that we, we, we at the earliest we will able to try to identify what contains whole moon can be seen that way so that way we work together that means your team getting knitted in a much better way to identify something uh, coming is it right or not so with that when we, then not only that uh, beyond that we have another uh, satellite came i think it's subsequently near 2009 one year later uh, but not withstanding that these two satellite this is lro by again by us and our chandrayaan we also coordinated that means not only in the laboratories not only we are doing here in the space there around the moon also the coordinated experiment between the two satellites also done using a centric upper radar of what carried by uh, lro and what carried by chandrayaan and trying to see uh, the subsurface water contents that's also we have seen with that i think we could come out with the two instrument together there are many places yes where armstrong landed even today we are not seeing the water but there are empty number of other places especially around the poles you could see the presence of wherever the blue is there the visible with our ir uh, system of uh, dr carla peters was able to identify in the presence of water and the sur- surface of the uh, moon and similarly the near the poles our dr poles body system was trying to see the subsurface water for the few meters of water in the form of ice okay that way an unknown because discovery of water on the moon historically when we made use working isro and nasa indo and us combination we helped us to discover this unambiguously that's a really really a historical discovery we could make it around the moon <laughs> yeah and this this talks about the story behind selecting from the uh, the uh, thing and going for our science missions and trying to get, collect the instrument from there uh, this captured uh, what are virtual areas director of jpl coming to uh, visiting our dsn and seeing so that means both in india and there we work together and uh, such that we are able to make such a historical thing and finally when we declare to the globe yes we have done and you can see then as a team as a team we declare to the world yes we have discovered water on the moon and today back to the moon that's how the whole globe is looking for a possibility of a human habitat we talk about in a globally all the things started from the discovery of this team as stone and this team is yes a team which are shown there <laughs> so when 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 i am showing this team and when i am showing it here some or other 50 years from later i think there should be a, again a team uh, 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 this photograph should be there and in this you should you should identify where you will fit there okay we will not be there and you should identify yourself along with your us colleagues where you will be there i think that's the idea of the whole uh, uh, thing together yes after this i think I, i i was not fortunate to go to the us uh, very often and after chandrayaan only i could have uh, was able to uh, able, able to go to the us along with my my uh, wife i think today also my wife also came along with me my wife and son we were gone to the uh, thing and the very same place where uh, uh, mr kennedy president of us declared 10 years from now we go to the moon i think very same place the question control center which considered to be mecca of any aerospace engineer uh, uh, i was going there and you can see uh, the another uh, flag i think armstrong carried the two flags there one flag came back from us uh, from lunar after landing and that is uh, sitting here so i i was taken through this gate inside okay and this is the place where even now you look at here when the space station the people are working people the control center they are monitoring and the way i entered and i think this was the greeting board what the control center has shown welcome to mile sami anadurai the western control center and 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 that, and that echoed and uh, that really echoed uh, the amount of uh, uh, acknowledgement and the amount of recognition the science community gives across the globe okay i think that that's that's the basically i'm trying to show you there then yes this helped us go to the mars also almost similar way yes before beyond the moon 
we logically we thought we go to the mars also and uh, very many similar almost similar composition before chandrayaan 1 very many missions have gone to the moon same here also very many missions have gone to the mars yes we also planning to was planning to go there but how it helped i think the videograph not coming properly you are able to read this anything okay fine i think there is uh, some lessons learned here also <laughs> yeah uh, the basically here what i was uh, trying to say say is yes very many missions have gone to the uh, moon and uh, is it possible quickly change this to white or something like that okay now no problem what i was trying to tell is here as many as 51 missions have gone to the uh, mars uh, beyond be, be before our uh, mangalyan going and uh, the success was only 21 missions only 21 missions have gone there and very many missions failed for various reasons i think that this basically what i'm telling is uh, this is at this point of time the lessons learned for example you you your younger your elder brother has gone to us and you have to go to us okay some lessons learned by your elder brother how it helps you to do navigate you much better way to go there i think that that the basic lesson is something like that okay yes us has made very many attempts russia has made very many attempts but not with starting that they succeeded now but initial failures were there but india cannot afford to do fail first attempt okay even 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 you make a first attempt you make however lesser money you spent it there however compact your schedule you cannot afford to fail in india correct na no? even though he is finding it uh, finding it difficult after uh, losing that match he isn't find it so it's very difficult uh, mail sami another is also to withstand such an assault okay so then but but basically what is happening is why the fail i think why the failed each one of the attempts at that that was given to us we we understood that and we understood that so that we are not we are we are not we we should not have that sort of issues while going for the first attempt to the mars i think basically here yeah, guiding uh, principles were available and they to the our hand holding to go to the uh, mars in a much uh, much better way that's what also happened there that's the one which enabled our success story that's what i told prior to that 51 missions have gone 21 only succeeded very many failed very various reasons okay and we have understood that lessons and that lessons learned okay that means uh, uh, failure is a stepping stone to any success doesn't mean you have to fail other failures also you can learn but provided they are ready to teach you i think that's what happened in our system and uh, with that you look at here our success story of mars also our cooperation uh, went in a better way and beyond that not only working we are working for a moon or mars into the space and back to the earth also i think a very very ambitious mission we have it is isro and nasa is working very very ambitiously this is nearly a billion dollar uh, system Uh, yes with using a synthetic aperture radar of ln dual frequency synthetic aperture radar and uh, isro nasa working and the three years from now uh, this will play a major role a major role to, to do for the back to the earth to supply for the in a new technology point of view to identify the environment what's happening there and uh, how the systems are evolving vegetations to march and uh, water resources to map very many things will happen there and down the line you will come to know but this is also another thing happened this is now we are working together hand in hand together that's what this mission this mission is concerned such a big volume this mission and uh, uh, work sharing is almost 50 50 okay almost 50 50 now we are working here that means after 50 years of launching uh, moon or landing now we are working in a 50 50 equivalent type of thing in a space back to the earth for the societal application point of view and as well as feeding to the new science i think this work is also going on there so with that uh, today when uh, uh, our uh, mark 3 is uh, waiting for Uh, launch to be done in uh, march uh, they were july 15th to go to the moon almost coinciding with the 50 years of our relationship uh, very many things have happened there and uh, this uh, this journey the success story of the journey between us and uh, this when we are re- remembering this this is to carry forward as i told here next 50 years in a much better way so that the cooperation between the teams go well and so cooperation between the scientists and engineers and all the all the ways uh, uh, it it uh, goes in much better way such that both in science and technology humanity individual nation everything it should go together so that way uh, i will complete with the uh, slogan of uh, let long live the us uh, india uh, cooperation thank you thank you very much Thank you, Dr. Ana- Nadurai, for that presentation and those inspiring words. Um, 
at this time, he has made himself available for about 20 minutes of question and answers. So I invite our audience who's here in person as well as watching online to, to raise your hands and come forward um, and ask your questions. All right. Yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, we have here lots of uh, students, both at school level and university level. So you have given us the destination that where we have to be. If you can also uh, help us with a path as how to reach where you are, yeah. that will help all of us. Because there is a lot of uh, aerospace uh, students here, but ISRO it's a very, very niche community and how yeah. to get in if you could help with that. That is one question, sir. And on the social level, sir, in, in India at least, any uh, failure at our local administration is compared with the success at our ISRO. Say, for example, if you're not able to help a, a kid who has fallen into a bore well, we immediately compare it with what is the success at a higher level. We cannot do that. So as a space scientist, how could space help here? As a human, how could, from your scientist perspective, what can be done to rectify that? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, as I told here, personal and uh, national connectivity, you are also connected, your personal as well as your societal uh, thing point of view. It's a good question. Now you look at here, even go to the uh, final destination. You, you can look at here the way in which U.S. gone to the uh, moon, the way in which we have gone to the moon, there are two different paths, two different paths because uh, one has enough power. One shot he can go, four days he can reach to the Mars. But we, we are looking for 55 days because that much muscle power you don't have. That both destination remains same, okay? Depending upon the means, your way of going will be different. So first, of, first and foremost, I should know what is my means what I'm capable of. I think that, that should be very clear about that, okay? Uh, then, one is slowly also you can go. That's what we have taken. Slow and steady, but still target remains same. Towards that, every in everything positively and increasing my strength, and such that I incrementally improve. But still you can reach the destination. Maybe may not be tomorrow, maybe a day will ha happen, you can reach that, but that's possible. That means your target remains same, Okay, depending upon my means, I will keep on improving my means, which may be four days from now, which may be 45 days from now. But still, still, you are able to increase incrementally improvement you can do. One thing is, connecting, not philosophically correctly is, if you have, somebody is doing a plus two, okay, that's the immediate, four days good reaching. Okay, that means the plus two, all India level, you are able to get through our Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology exam one among a 250 or 300, then you have the earliest chance. You enter into IAST. The IAST, once you enter, four years from now, you are graduated. So there your chances are getting in this row is much, much brighter. You, you come out with the 75% mark, you will get to row. That is the shortest route what NASA has taken, equivalent to that. Another route is basically incrementally improve. Okay? You have not, some of us not succeeded. You complete your BA, core engineering. There, you are, again, you come for the entrance exam, annually happens there. But this time competition may be high, but, but still you attempt it, okay? But you, you will, if you're able to get through, do. If you're not able to get through that, post-graduation. After post-graduation, but you are slightly focused. What ISRO looks for? Previous years, uh, like our lessons learned, I told Mars, same thing will happen there. Why you failed, and now, what are all the previous exams people have done, ME? Which are all the courses they are asking for that? You get into that course. That is the one possibility. That is also not possible post-graduate, uh, uh, after PhD. PhD also, if you do, you register in live register so that the senior scientists look for whether your relevance to that work, provided your work relevance to this row, and you will be absorbed by that. If that is also not there, now good number of avenues are coming. Now you look at here, the private industries also shipping in to get into the uh, Indian aerospace industry in various forms. And that's one of the reasons why I'm in Tamil Nadu, okay? To, to bring the people up so that ecosystem and the capacity building and their memory resources are matching for that. And you can get along with that. 
and today in, in similar again us you look at here model remains same originally nasa and isro equivalent name wise what is within the, in india isro and nasa us but today aerospace is not only nasa it is a good number of private industries have come similarly a day will happen that many private industries will be there okay and you can be elon musk of uh, tomorrow in india very much possible okay even nasa is not getting isro you are not getting you can be elon musk of india possible so i think avenues are big you are keep the target there and keep improving i think this is possible now coming to the societal thing point of view yes we know we know this uh, this sort of slogan being talked and isro is considered to be a, a word which i used to tell an island of excellence within india uh, i think people cannot deny that but how to connect how, and there are some islands also happening now slowly but now we are trying to see how you can connect the islands okay uh, b- b- highways roadways way, seaways whatever it is you can connect it well connecting it i think seamlessly is it possible to do i think that that is a, that while doing it here how the higher education institutions this sort of a culture can be infused okay uh, that means the social elements when you take a project you also have been as a, 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 a b a student or m a student or phd you have been asked to do some projects why can't you do projects of social elements why can't you learn uh, the way in which isro is doing the thing so when we are doing all the outreaching in various form because i try to outreach what is happening within isro to as many forums as possible every opportunity they are doing such that is it possible pop- possible to pick up and keep doing that i think that way if you do it doesn't mean it's an isolated success only in isro it can be replicated across india it's very much feasible okay it's only the mindset of the people it it, it is not isro people are not come from aliens they are not aliens they are also indians okay it's happening in india so when that's happening in india why not me i think that's very much feasible it, it, i think we can we can do it's uh, uh, that way it's only a mindset thank you sir balaji n asks via live stream are there any manned missions planned by isro and has isro carried or will carry any payloads to the international space station okay i think uh, uh, it's quite some time back uh, international space station one of the payload uh, indian side carried the payload called anuradha was done i think so 30 40 years back one of the payload uh, gone from international space station to the international space station uh, then coming back to our uh, manned missions Yes, already ISRO is embarked, embarking in a mission. Project has been approved and um, very, very ambitious mission. There also I expect a good, good, good amount of uh, Indo-US cooperation uh, for the, because we are trying to accelerate our manned missions at the earliest so that uh, the lessons learned and the training facilities of US may be used there. So that way, uh, I expect at least five years from now, uh, from Indian soil, uh, Indians going to the space, near space, and coming back safely uh, it's a very very finite possibility yeah hello sir i'm from chennai compression can i ask you in tamil sir yeah very oh. good tamil nalla va pesralama chandra in one vida chandra in two la enna sir avlo sirappu enna sir irukku adu one ang class ku rendang class ku irukra sirappu maadhu அதாவது நம்ம வந்து ஆல்பபெட் படிச்சுக்கிறோம் இல்லையா ஆ படிச்சுக்கிட்டோம் அடுத்தது வார்த்தையாக படிக்கிறோம் படிக்கிறோம் அப்போ அது வார்த்தையாக நம்ம எழுத்து மட்டும் படித்தா பிறகாது வார்த்தை படிக்கிறோம் இது செய்யுள் படிக்கிறோம் அது மாதிரி பண்ணுறோம் அது மாதிரி சந்திரயான் ஒன்றில் வந்து நான் சொன்ன மாதிரி நம்ம முதல் முறையாக போனாலும் கூட எந்தெந்த இடத்துல நீர் இருக்குது எப்படின்னு சொல்ல முடிஞ்சது இப்போ அதனால் இப்போ திருவப்பகுதி வந்து கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் பக்குவமான இடமாக இருக்கலாம் பின்னால் மனுஷன் இற இறங்கணும் அப்படின்னா இப்போ வந்து இப்போ நம்ம ஊர்லேயே வந்து வீடு புதுசாக பார்க்கணுன்னா பக்கத்தில் ஸ்கூல் இருக்குதான்னு பார்க்குறாங்க தண்ணி இப்போ கிடைக்குதான்னு பார்க்குறாங்க அதே மாதிரி அங்கே நிலவுக்கு போய் மனுஷன் இறங்கினாலும் கூட அங்கே நீர் நீர் இருக்குதான்னு பார்க்கணும் அங்கே இருந்துட்டு மேலே போக முடியாதுன்னு பார்க்கணும் அது மாதிரி பல இது பார்க்குறாங்க பார்க்கும் பொழுது நம்ம தூரத்துலேருந்தே முதல்ல பார்க்கும் பொழுது சந்திரயான் ஒன்று சொல்லிச்சுப்போம் சந்திரயான் ரெண்டில் வந்து நிலவெல்லாம் மெதுவாக இறங்க போகிறோம் அங்கே வந்து மூணு ஒன்று மோது முப்பத்தி அஞ்சு கேஜியில் இருக்கிற ஒன்று வந்து நிலவில் மோதிச்சு மோது நம்ம பிறகு அதனுடைய ஆயில் இல்லை இப்போ வந்து மெதுவாக இறங்கும் மெதுவாக இறங்கி ஆறு சக்கர வண்டி வந்து நிலவில் நம்ம சந்திரயான் ஒன்று நூறு கிலோமீட்டர் தூரத்தில் இருந்து பார்த்தது சரியா அப்படிங்கிறத அங்கே பார்க்கும் தொழில்நுட்ப ரீதியாக மெதுவாக இறங்க வைக்கும் நாளைக்கு மனுஷன் இறங்கணும்னா மனுஷனை தூக்கி போட முடியாது மனுஷன் நம்ம நிலவில் மெதுவாக இறக்கி ஆகணும் இறக்கிறதுக்கு பண்ணுறது அதுக்கு தொ இங்கேருந்து வந்து ஆறு சக்கர வண்டி இப்போ வந்து மனுஷன் இல்லாமல் இந்த ரொபோட் மர போனாலும் கூட இயந்திர மனிதன் போனாலும் கூட அதை வந்து அங்கே ஆராய்ச்சி பண்ண முடியும் அப்படிங்கிறத பண்ணுறோம் நாளைக்கு மனிதன் தான் போகணும் அப்படின்னு நிலம் வந்துச்சுன்ன
மனிதனை போவதற்கு அது வந்து அங்கே வந்து நாங்கள் சொல்கிறது என்ன சர்வதேச செலவு எல்லோரும் எல்லோரும் சேர்ந்து பண்ணணும் ஒரு நாடு மட்டும் தனித்தனியாக போக வேண்டிய அவசியம் இல்லை ஐயா அமெரிக்காவும் இந்தியாவும் சைனா எல்லோரும் சேர்ந்து வாங்க போகலாம் அப்போ போகும் பொழுது நீங்கள் என்ன செய்கிறீங்க ஒரு கிரிக்கெட் டீமில் இருக்கிறேன்னா நீ வந்து விக்கெட் கீப்பராக இருக்கிறியா பவுலிங்காக இருக்கிறியா நீங்கள் இருக்குதா ஒரு பேட்ஸ்மேனாக இருக்கிறியான்னு இருக்குது அது மாதிரி நம்முடைய திறமை வளர்த்துக்கணும் அதுக்கும் சரி சந்திரயான் ரெண்டு உதவும் அந்த வகையில் சந்திரயான் ஒன்று பண்ணுனதுன்னா அடுத்த லாஜிக்கல் எக்ஸ்டென்ஷனாக சந்திரயான் ரெண்டு இருக்கும் இடுத்து வர இன்னும் வரக்கூடிய இடங்களுக்கும் அது சரியாக போய் சேரும் அந்த வகையில் குட் மார்னிங் சார் கிளாட் டு மீட் யூ இட்ஸ் வெரி கிரேட் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு ஃபார் மீ டு கம் அண்ட் மீட் யூ சார் I have a question regarding the life forms existing in the in, uh, moon. When you spoke about the life forms existence there, uh, it's a fact stating that uh, the gravitational pull that is exerted by moon is just one-sixth of which is being exerted in Earth. So when life forms are going and uh, surviving there, how is it possible for them to j- even stand, sir? Even, is it possible for humans to even stand and do some uh, their basic works? Now, what is the last sentence you told? is it possible for a human being to go and survive there where the okay. gravitational pull is okay. very less okay 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 now you know whatever i told is presence of water life presence we are not told okay life present but now you want to make it our human habitat there man has to live for long okay. live for long okay but towards that i think towards that what is happening is how you will it accustom for example even now in the space station space station even that gravity is not there it's micro gravity even 16 gravity is not existing okay with a longer time people are staying and they they are getting habituated for that and towards that required excesses required uh, things being acquired now it is not today for example uh, i i i will let a team of people what sort of excesses we can do in the space station our human systems will be ready for example when you are standing here gravity is sitting there that, that, that with that only our system is uh, got accustomed the atmosphere is sitting there with that system got accustomed but where their atmosphere also not there and you are don't have a gravity also your system how will even for the the way in which your heart functioning will be different when the gravity is different yes sir okay but for that you have to get a custom system but for that you do do some sort of exercise also okay for example we exercise weight lifting is the one which you do exercise here but nothing called weight there in a zero gravity system you 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 have to devise something else that's happening there right away it's happening there similarly when you go to the moon also reasonably good uh, one sixth of the gravity but still man will get accustomed for that for that environment in in a, in a longer in a, in, a, in a longer run so for towards that a simulated environment he will get trained here and in, and the journey takes place there and again when you looking at here for sort of a, a water being there water how it can be utilized water may not be in the portable form but still a yeah, water being available h2o you can make it a portable using the technologies you are able to carry the technologies and uh, similarly uh, today uh, there is no cultivation there yes is it possible to cultivate water being available there with the record it sitting there is it possible to cultivate back uh, ground a uh, lot of experiments going on there oh. and these things will get uh, be used there even if it not there to start with we will able to send uh, only few days away earth to moon so supply is possible to do but in long run is it possible to humanity to sustain in a long run that also yeah yeah there's a point of uh, uh, experiments point of uh, research going on so this all will get corrected if it really there today in under you look at here parallels in antarctica very many countries including india and us they are having their camps okay that is a you gra- leave alone gravity but the climate is not such much conducive yes people live there <laughs> and nothing big growing there but still people are able to live there so it's something it's possible really there is a need for that definitely we will have the technical solutions how we can live that's possible but a lot of things are happening there okay sir so what about the soil that is present on the moon surface sir is it fit for uh, fit for building fit for cultivation Ah, that's what that that is experiment is going on for example even deserts which were one once upon a time thought cannot be used to cultivation now a, a, a new form of uh, cultivation possible to set is going on in deserts okay the equivalent thing we are talking about in the moon it is possible that means enough nutrients enough water alone if you go there is a possibility it can come yeah please good morning i have two questions uh One is, when you were a child, did you want to become an astronaut and did you think that you would become the head of ISR though? 
no uh, definitely no definitely no actually when i was a boy like you i, I, I just i was listening that okay you have seen that equivalent to that na no? i was listening to radio uh, something how how i'm strong landed that i, I had a curiosity but uh, uh, existence of isro itself i was not knowing that time <laughs> that was the fact okay that is the fact but today you are fortunate that's what i told today you are fortunate you you know that what what not only what isro you want to become what you told yes ah that's 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 a, such a things we are, we are not we, we are not even aware of that those days okay but today you are fortunate you are you are doing that but you will have enough competition also okay when i came i i doubt whether that the competition was there but today when you come enough competition will be there there are two different you are aware but your competition also will be more the next question is yeah uh, if there's water in the moon enough water for us to live then will we live normally like we do here like how will we live how how will we live on the moon if there's enough water like will we live like how we live here or differently how will we live there? yeah you know of course we we, we learned a lot more things what what we are supposed not to do back in earth we should not repeat it there correct right, no we should not go and pollute the earth also moon also something like this sir yeah india la hydrogen liquid make pandra technologies illa india la hydrogen liquid make pandra technologies illa illa adu irukku pa irukku adha technology irukku pinnala affordability endha idhula idu worth irudhiya panna mudiyum abdingiradha adu vandu laboratory la pannala adu laboratory la pannala ipo indha kaathileyum kuda irukkuri edhai vechittu kuda nam thanni edukka mudiyum adhella enna na vandu parichathama pandradha adu adha vechittu neenga nerai perthu kodukka mudiyuma அதில் பண்ணுற செலவில் எவ்வளோ பண்ண முடியும் அப்படிங்கிறது தான் கேள்விக்குறி புரியுதா அதனால தான் மழை நீரை சேகரிக்கணும் அப்படிங்கிறது இயற்கையாக வர்ற மழை நீர் அதை நாம் சேகரிப்போம் நீங்கள் இல்லாத இதை கொண்டு உருவாக்குறதுக்கு போல் இருக்காத சரியாக பத்திரம் வச்சுக்குவோம் அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறது பரிட்சாத்தமாக பண்ண நீங்கள் சொல்ல பரிட்சாத்தமாக பண்ண முடியும் இல்லைன்னு இல்லை பரிட்சாத்தமாக பண்ண முடியும் செஞ்சு காமிக்க முடியும் பட் அதை வச்சுட்டு எதுவும் பண்ண முடியாது எல்லாத்துக்கும் கொடுக்க முடியாது ஹலோ சார் ஸோ மை கொஷின் இஸ் நாட் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் சயின்ஸ் so this is basically a question whether there was a space race between is uh, nasa and uh, the from russia so how do you uh, we see that uh, as we are launching our chandrayaan now so we we see that the there is no space race but the exploration is been healthy yeah, so yeah. how do you think that the uh, humanity have in a, in a humanity way we have changed this space race a uh, a challenge to in a uh, in much more healthy way like what what is the what how do you think that this has been a this has been changed no th- th- that's what i, I, I the, the whole theme of the of my lecture is that only okay it is we are not we are not talking about the race we are we are talking about a, p- a place where we can work together a healthy healthy way of each one helping each other so that humanity comes out okay so that you will get the discovery of water definitely we 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 shared each other's uh, experience and strengths and that's why it happened there so the same thing i advocate i advocate even the we are now, a couple of three years i was there along with us other teams we are discussing for example ne- next international space station and we make for example today india is not a part of international space station which us is heading and other station, other nations are there china is not part of that but when we are discussing when we are going to make a new space station why not that why not that form why not it is in the moon okay why not in the moon then there is a finite possibility the international lunar space station india also can be part and parcel of that space station along with other teams okay that means the taking the international cooperation in a much much broader perspective that's what i told so whatever i told about uh, polluting the earth polluting water let us not do let us not fighting against the borders what we are doing in the ground let us not do it in the moon so as a scientist we should be so the way to the humanity i think that is definitely intellectuals supposed to do that okay and let us not have this small barriers of uh, this but humanity has to grow in a much better perspective with a much bigger objective there is no point in unnecessarily we with within within ourselves our energy is being dissipated for something else so towards that we are trying to show the way one of the way is let us go to the moon let us all the stations put together our next space station let it be there in the moon let us show to the whole world 
we can work together harmoniously in a place very very serene place we can work i think i want to show that so like i told an island of isro which can be expanded within is india and make a better better system we talking about here why not the whole globe without this uh, uh, differentiations without this fighting possible i think we should we can we can initiate that that seed started there from there it, it can grow that's what we are trying to say Good morning, sir, and good morning, one and all present over here. I'm Shavik from Hindustan University. So my question is, uh, not only me, I think most of the students who are sitting here, they all of they they have a curiosity of becoming an astronaut, but we don't know how to how to be an astronaut. And I think there is a huge scope for astronaut because, as you all know, that uh, NASA is trying for Mars mission in the year 2040, 2045, and we also know the reality that ISRO is more interested in fighter pilots, not the normal common human beings. so can you show the path like how to be an astronaut because i also know that there is a huge scope because uh, both isro and nasa they are eyeing for human mission both to mars and moon so can you show a path thank you so much yeah i think as you rightly told uh, nasa point of view there is a lay down way how you can become an astronaut even institutions that way it's available there but uh, now the uh, our uh, indian thing to start with to start with when you are talking about uh, 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 our indians going to the um, space is concerned it's only kind to acquire technical capability and when you are talking about the uh, uh, the schedule in which we are talking about here we are already available test pilots will be a better option for the first mission for the first missions okay but once you acquire it there and there is there is a finite possibilities uh, pe people will be uh, taken the same form whatever we told there okay that that will happen there but to start with to acquire the technology acquire the infrastructures such that we can put the safely man and come back because that being a first test uh, thing yeah. test pilot goes okay any any in any any aircraft today test pilot goes Ab subsequently people will uh, follow i think that will happen for indian context point of view but as far as uh, nasa is concerned they have the laid down procedures they have the laid down procedures of doing it and uh, i know uh, even some of our uh, indian students also i think they are uh, a part of that i think you know that out of the three indians two indian girls were part of uh, uh, that benefit uh, whatever they got both things i will say hello sir So I wanted to ask. Of course, finance finance plays a big role in any project uh, decision. So, how does India and what ideology or technique do we use to make a such a low budget project but yet to very successful? Okay, there are a couple of things. This I can take a lesson lesson itself for that. Okay, uh, simple 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 thing is as I as I told. Just if you put the things together, perspective. So nominally, uh, when you make missions of that, it's a, it's a globally accepted practices. You make a mission something like this. We will, for example, even for this uh, lecture, uh, they 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 made my uh, PPT has come a couple of days early, and they made many trials and they have seen many things they have done. Okay, that that's a, that 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 thing. The, the culture it goes there, but nominally when I go, I will go one shot a presentation, because that 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 is the way that is the way we have we have been cultivated. That is the way we have been cultivated. For example, when they do, they have a mission, something called three or four models before the final model comes. But Chandrayaan, believe me, nowhere people believed we can with the single model we go to the moon. Nobody believed, but we made it because. now because what is happening is uh, because that, that gives two two things one is for example when you are making three or four models any of you think it is not going to fly first model okay you, there is a possibility of relaxing that that's what my i think people think the different way my my thinking is something like this you make three four model there is every possibility first one any of you not going to fly this is not going to fly let me let me make an attempt at the third or fourth you will see but by the time you have spent enough money by the time enough resources you have spent by the time enough uh, time also spent there okay but uh, when fourth minutes coming some people think any of first three i have done na fourth also will be like that only that sort of relaxation also possible when we make only one this one only has to work okay you will put all your efforts on that point number one second number is you your money is spending is going to be less only that's what time and again you are going you look at your chandrayaan one with the first time ever anybody gone to the moon with a single model i think indians only done that
happy day sir so my question is about till how far we know chandrayaan 2 is going to be there in the moon's orbit for 7 to 8 months so how you will track its health how you track the health satellite health mm. yeah now basically what is happening is the satellite uh, will have enough sensors okay will have enough sensors its various parts how it's working in terms of its temperature how much of uh, it currently draws uh, very various parameters are there that seeing these are all being monitored and it is uh, telemetered to the okay, earth that's it okay and when with the ground station we have ground stations i showed the various ground stations across the globe even for chandrayaan 2 also along with our own uh, uh, stations sitting there nasa stations also will come in, in our in our help okay that mean 24 by 7 like in in icu satellite is not an icu but still we will be monitoring all the health parameters of the system continuously uh, in a bangalore everything will come to the bangalore bangalore ground station uh, we, they will keep monitoring and keep the record of what's uh, happening all through the thing so this is a, a normal practice uh, normally we will do anything on toward happens then people will on the ground will able to react and this system has its own autonomy also system on its own system the satellite is autonomy in case something fails it will it will switch over to the alternate system and that way that's a easy as we can to that that means mostly it will serve on its own but not understanding that the whole health is uh, being uh, taken back to the earth and that being monitored there in case that is not taking people can intervene and do if possible if possible for example chandrayaan to landing it's only few minutes during the landing you cannot intervene it has to work on its own only no way so that enough redundancy is enough uh, uh, testing and enough uh, uh, robustness for the systems have been built in there so that it will land it will identify the safe place and land safely and uh, ensure the rover comes out safely and do this functions everything autonomously done there but some portions still it will send its health okay sir and for the final question of coming from online galtham asks going forward what kind of synergy do you expect f- between isro and nasa in the near future okay this is uh, you touched the theme of my lecture okay and uh, this is whatever i told is 50 years of story extending further it is not only linear i think exponentially should be extended with respect to the uh, synergy and cooperation point of view uh, uh, as we told uh, I, this are, these are two th- two different things one is r&d r&d point of view uh, definitely both the teams can work in much better way to go much beyond not only for the space again the space how it can be used for a society also that is a there is a two, two two things research point of view one of the mission is if you look at nisr it's a nearly a billion dollar um, mission it's coming there and we both isro and nasa are working together that's that's what that's going to happen that is a reality is going to happen there then another thing is i'm doing a commercial not commercial privatization angle okay but india is now uh, aiming for in a big way for the governance and digital india various things uh, the satellites can play a major role and the satellites uh, these satellites are routine satellites we isro need not embark too much onto that but it can be done by private industries and there is a, the private industry success story is there back in us i think how we can replicate that in, in india i think that that is the uh, major thing if if you are able to do that that means one side we will able to uh, replicate the number of satellites in terms of communication or remote sensing navigation uh, 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 very many things uh, we can do it and that uh, mostly can do by an uh, industry okay that 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 will help there but whereas the research for the newer application the newer avenues newer exploration even for the for example lunar space station whatever i talk about here in the international forum nasa and isro working together and it can continue to work together in such that to make the things uh, better way such that today international space station I- india is not part of it and tomorrow lunar space station uh, there is a finite possibility we can be partners definitely possibility so that way uh, it's a uh, two ways i am trying to see uh, one is as a nation another one is as organizations we can work together Well, thank you, sir, and thank you for the audience participation. Um, Dr. Nandurai, um, thank you for agreeing to uh, share the stage momentarily with some guests from the Chennai Corporation. Um, yeah, if I can invite a, f- a warm round of applause from, <laughs> for our guest speaker. Thank you, sir.
Now I would like to ask to uh, Mrs. Nagalakshmi of the National STEM Education Foundation to come to the podium with Raj Kumar, an 11th grade student from Chennai Higher Secondary School in Koyambedu. Last year, Raj Kumar was among a dozen Chennai Corporation School students who traveled to the United States to visit NASA. And the US Consulate General in Chennai applauds Raj Kumar and all of the students who won the science talent hunt. We also want to recognize the leadership and the generosity of the National STEM Education Foundation and the Greater Chennai Corporation and the Rotary Club of Madras East and Foundation for making such opportunities for young people possible, making dreams come true. So please share with us a few words about your trip to NASA. A very happy day and a very happy morning to all of you. And so it is a very rare opportunity uh, to be able to share this uh, you know, platform with you. And a rarer opportunity still to be sharing this moment with 40 very special children from uh, Chennai, Greater Chennai Corporation. So I am uh, Rotarian Nagalakshmi, an uh, uh, educationist, uh, a social entrepreneur, and uh, a very avid STEM propagant. So um, I have uh, with me 40 special students. And why they are special is that um, in Rotary, the Greater Chennai Corporation, along with the Rotary Club of Madras East, has for over the last four years been conducting uh, a corporation-wide science talent hunt uh, program where over 70 corporation schools from high schools and higher secondary schools participate, with over 7,000 children participating from corporation schools, being filtered through various very, very stringent, rigorous uh, filtration systems involving ob uh, you know, objective uh, reasoning, logical reasoning, analytical, and culminating in their building a live project model from where 32 student winners are shortlisted and selected. And the very special thing about this Wings to Fly program is that it culminates in all the winners being taken to an educational trip abroad. So this is a very wonderful opportunity where the students from Chennai Corporation over the last two years and the previous years, I would like to talk about the last two years more specifically. Uh, this year they have been taken to Singapore and last year they had the opportunity to be traveling to NASA in the USA. So uh, can I request all the 40 special students who are there sharing this moment with Dr. Uh, Mail Sami Anadurai to please stand up and get acknowledged along with their mentors from the Chennai Corporation. And may I request all of you to please put your hands together for these very, very, very special children. You all did brilliantly. Coming from their backgrounds, I would again wish to thank our Greater Chennai Corporation and the Rotary Club of Madras East and the Foundation for Vocational Training, which over the last five years, please take your seat, which over the last five years has been consistently doing this for these children to make it bigger, better, and to make them dream wider and to open up their horizons. So just a very quick walkthrough. So I am sharing some memories of what the children, uh, you know, uh, had been through. Visited the Mission Control Center. So you had mentioned the Houston space. Uh, so they were all there. The moment you had flashed that, you said, oh, we went there. We saw that flag. So at, you know, doing mock plays. Inside, a, you know, um, visiting the NASA. Just a few pictures sharing our moments. With the mayor of San Antonio, we visited San Antonio in Houston. This is at SAMSAT with their director. We visited Rice University, visited the Baylor College of Medicine, and it was an amazing, very life-changing experience for all these children. I mean, Yengalke, as people who were there with them, it was life-altering in, altering in several ways, in terms of what a little bit of exposure, what a little bit of good intent can do to children at large. And sir, 
may i now call upon to speak in his very own words uh, our student winner rajkumar from chennai high school coimbedu who was one of the wings to fly winners of 2017 please put your hands together for rajkumar <laughs> and i would also like to place a small request before you now this rajkumar whom i have here okay he was there with us last year uh, he is from a tamil medium school okay but he performed exceedingly well to become the top 8 of the winners and in the last one and a half months he has been earnestly working to improve his english communication skills because he knows the world is large so rajkumar today is going to address his audience in english to start with and then he'll flow into his thai modi his comfort land in tamil okay so please give him all your support thank you thank you ma'am good morning to our uh, honorable chief guest dr mail swami anadurai respected delegates and rotarian my dear friends and respected teachers and all my elders it is a great honor to speak before all of you um about about my experience in nasa here i would like to speak in my mother tongue tamil ஒரு சாதாரண ஃபேமிலியில் இருந்து வந்த மாணவர்களையும் சாதிக்க முடியும் அப்படின்னு நிரூபித்த சார் நமக்குலாம் ஒரு ரோல் மாடல் நாம் நான் அமெ நான் அமெரிக்கா போவேன்னு சுத்தமாக நினச்சி பார்த்தது கூட இல்லை அதுவும் சென்னை கார்பரேஷன் அண்ட் ரோட்டி கிளப் ஆஃப் மெட்ராஸ் ஈஸ்ட் இணைந்து நடத்திய விங்ஸ் டு ஃப்ளை என்ற ப்ரோக்ராம் மூலமாக நான்காயிரம் மாணவர்கள் இருந்து நான் தேர்ந்தெடுக்கப்பட்ட நான் வெற்றி பெற்ற என்பது என் கனவிலுக்கும் அப்பாற்பட்டது என்னுடைய ஃபோட்டோ நியூஸ் பேப்பரில் வரும்போது என்னுடைய பேரண்ட்ஸ் அதை பக்கத்து வீட்டுக்காரங்க மற்றும் அவங்க ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ்கிட்ட காட்டும்போது ஏன் பையன் அமெரிக்கா போகிறான் என்று பெருமையோடு சொன்னாங்க அது என்னால் வார்த்தைகளை விவரிக்க முடியாத ஒரு ஆனந்தமான நிகழ்ச்சியாக இருந்தது அதன் பிறகு அமெரிக்காவில் நாசாவுக்கு போனபோது நாங்கள் மூணுக்கு போயிட்டு வந்த ஆர்நோஸ் டேவிட் ஹெல்மர் அவங்கள பார்த்தோம் அவர்களை பார்த்தது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் அவருடைய உரையாடணும் அவருடைய உரையாடணும் ஃபோட்டோ ஃபோட்டோவும் பிடித்தோம் அது என்னுடைய வாழ்க்கையில் மறக்க முடியாத ஒரு நாளாக அமைந்தது மேலும் நாசால் உள்ள ராக்கெட்டுடைய பாகங்களை அவங்க காட்சிப்படுத்தியிருந்தாங்க அதெல்லாம் பார்க்கும்போது எனக்கு ஒரு மிக மிகப்பெரிய ஆனந்தமாக இருந்தது மேலும் அமெரிக்காவில் இருக்க மக்கள் எல்லோரும் மற்றவங்களுக்கு ஓத்து ரெஸ்பெக்ட் கொடுத்துக்கிட்டாங்க அப்போ எடுத்துக்க எக்ஸாம்பிள் சொன்னால் சானன்டோனியமில் நாங்கள் மேயரை பார்க்க போனோம் சானன்டோனியம் மேயரை பார்க்க நாங்கள் சிட்டி ஹாலுக்கு போகும்போது அவர் எங்களை வாசல் வர வந்து வரவேற்று இந்திய ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸுன்றதுக்கு விஷ் பண்ணி வெல்கம் பண்ணார் நான் நான் அங்கே நிறைய நல்ல விஷயங்களை பார்த்தேன் அங்கே அமெரிக்காவில் ஒவ்வொரு வீட்டிலையும் வீட்டுக்கு பின்னாடி கிரா கார்டனும் வீட்டுக்கு ஃப்ரெண்டில் புல் தரையும் அதை அமைத்து பராமரித்தும் வந்தாங்க இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய நல்ல விஷயங்களை நான் அமெரிக்காவில் பார்த்தேன் அந்த நல்ல விஷயங்களை இந்தியாவில் நானும் பின்பற்றணும் அப்படின்னு ஒரு ஊக்கத்தை ஏற்படுத்தது அந்த ப்ராஜெக்ட் அமைந்தது அண்டு அண்டு ஃபைனலி பிஃபோர் கன்க்ளூட் மை ஸ்பீச் நீங்கள் ஒவ்வொருத்தரும் உங்களுடைய இலக்குகளை தீர்மானிங்க அதற்கு உங்களால் முடிஞ்ச அளவு அதனை கடினமான முயற்சி எடுங்க பின்பு உங்களை வெற்றி தேடி வரும் ட்ரீம் பிக் ஒர்க் ஆர்ட் அண்ட் சக்ஸஸ் வில் பி அட் யூர் ஃபீட்ஸ் அண்டு ஐ விஷ் டு தேங்க் த சென்னை கார்பரேஷன் அண்ட் ரோட்டி கிளப் ஆஃப் மெட்ராஸ் ஈஸ்ட் ஈச் ரொட்டேரியன் த இந்த ப்ரோக்ராம் சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இந்த நாசா ப்ரோக்ராம் சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல்லாக வந்து கைட் பண்ண நாகலட்சுமி மேம் அவங்களுடைய க்யூரி கிட்ஸ் கிளப் கிளப் அண்ட் மை ஆல் ஸ்கூல் டீச்சர்ஸ் என்னுடைய ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் எல்லாருக்கும் நான் இந்த இந்த நேரத்தில் நன்றி தெரிவிச்சுக்கிறேன் மேலும் இருபத்தி ஐந்து விருதுகளுடைய அதிபர் மற்றும் விருதுகளின் நாயகர் பத்மஸ்ரீ டாக்டர் மயில்சாமி அண்ணாதுரை சார் எங்களுக்காக நேரத்திற்கு வந்தமைக்கும் தங்கள் முன் பேச வாய்ப்பளித்த இந்த அமெரிக்க சென்டருக்கும் என்னுடைய நன்றிகளை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் தேங்க்ஸ் ஆஃப் லாட் ஜெய் ஹிந்த் ராஜ்குமார் ஐ டிட் நாட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் யுவர் தாமோ பட் ஐ அண்டர்ஸ்ட் த ஸ்பிரிட் அண்ட் த பேஷன் பிஹைண்ட் யுவர் வேர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் I I fully support you and thank you for sharing that passion and that inspiration to all the students here as well maybe watching online. So as a small token of our appreciation this is an Apollo 11 commemorative poster. That's okay. We'll take some photos after the event. So I'll invite you right back up afterwards. Okay. Thank you. Now um that brings us to our final words um thank you Mrs Nagalakshmi 
and Raj Kumar again for sharing your amazing experience with us. And thank you to our chief guest, Dr. Anna Durai, for your words and your inspiration to generations of, of young Indian students who are pursuing their dreams in this field. We also, um, I want to remind the audience, if they're not aware, that we will be speaking with a U.S. astronaut on Monday morning at 9.30. You can join us for this virtual chat with astronaut Dottie Metcalf Lindenberger, again available at 09.30 on Monday morning via our Facebook pages for the U.S. Consulate General in Chennai. For those joining us online and for those who came today in person, I close with the words of the Apollo 8 crew, which consisted of the first humans to orbit the moon in 1968. Good night, good luck, God bless you all, and all of you on the good earth. Thank you. This concludes our live stream.